because these the brothers that's outside, that's on the pavement, where you can reach out and touch them. These are not internet fucking Hebrew Israelites, okay? Like a lot of these clowns. They are internet Hebrew Israelites, that's it. They are not in the highways and the byways, as the Most High tells you to be in the goddamn highways and the byways and raise your damn voice like a trumpet to reach the masses of our people. And y'all niggas are not doing that. You are internet fake ass Hebrew Israelites. And that's why I always make my distinction. I always say not all. Right here, say he deceived the whole world. That's a minus the Lord. Yeah, he, this ain't Jesus. Let's get what Jesus is like. So you, this probably is your guy. You find you might want to worship him. Right? In the last day, you are gonna have to worship this guy, black man. He gonna be your king. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. That's proof. I'm, I'm totally blind. So. Right. So you don't mind worshiping the black Jesus, do? You? No, no, oh, 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 no, it wouldn't matter or do it matter. Let's read, let's read, let's read. Revelation. Lee, listen to this. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 12. Read this, listen, brother. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So this is John, he's about to turn to see who's looking at him. Go ahead. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Uh -huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So we saw Christ, go ahead. Clothed. With a garment down to the foot. Yeah, the garment down to the foot. Go ahead. And a girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Got a golden girdle on, right there. Go ahead. His head and his hairs. His head on his hair. Were white like wool. Were white like a sheep. Wool is sheep, right? You agree with that, right? Wool is sheep, like sheep hair, right? Yeah. So Christ had lamb type hair, nappy kitty, lamb hair. And it was all white, like that. Right? Go ahead. As white as snow. White as what? As white as snow. So his hair was fully gray. Go ahead. Pull your shirt down, son. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were what? His eyes were as a flame of fire. Jesus drunk wine. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like brass. What we'll color is brass? Uh, the other. What color is brass? So how do you get brass with what? You got to have a derivative of brown. Without brown, you can't get no gold. This is the main particle of it, brown. So he had brown feet, go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. His feet were so dark, it looked like they burned in a furnace. How you doing, sister? Then we was going over this picture what Jesus Christ looked like to him. Well, a lot of people think this is what Christ looked like right here. But we showed them that this is the wrong image because back then they painted this image. This guy right here painted Caesar Borgia to be the new Christ. So Christ would look more like this guy. Because he had woolly hair like a sheep, fully white, feet was like bronze, which was brown. They were so dark it looked like a sheep burnt in the sun. So Christ was a dark skinned black man. That's what the Bible says. So you accept a black man as your savior? I mean, I accept the spirit of God. I didn't ask you that. Yeah, I said, no do you accept color. a black man to be your savior? No. Oh, oh no. Say the camera that. Say that in the camera. Turn the no. camera and say that. No, I, I don't believe that it has nothing. I believe that it has nothing to do with race. Right. You said you wouldn't accept. I, hold I on, hold on. That ain't the question I asked you. I said, do you accept a black man to be your savior? Tell the camera what's your answer. My answer is... 
I mean... You said no, right? With, with technology that has been around. Hold on, what did you say? Yes or no? I said no. He yeah, said no, no, he don't, I don't accept. Think that this man, the black messiah, has his savior. But this is going to be your savior whether you like it or not. My savior... I don't know. He's not going to be your, he not gonna be your like, savior, I'm but you this is your savior right here. That's what I meant to it's say. Not about race, this is your savior, but this going to be, this color. guy right here going to be the king. Of the, he going to be your king. You don't have to bow down and worship this guy. Hmm. Give me that in Revelation chapter 2. You won't have to bow down to this guy. Give me Revelation 3 and 9. Two. You get 3 and 9. You're going to have to bow down to this black man whether you like it or not. Watch, go ahead. <laughs> the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 9. Watch this. Behold, I make them as the synagogue of Satan. So you will be the synagogue of Satan. Right, go ahead. Right, which say they are Jews and are not. Go ahead. But do lie. But do what? But do right. lie. Right, because he said he wouldn't worship the black Messiah. Go ahead. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before oh, thy feet. You hear that? But this, going, this is the depiction God that was, was described as Christ. I said it doesn't matter about the color. It but I didn't ask you to do a matter about the color. Spirit of God. I asked you one question. I don't think the, do you no, going to worship the black Messiah when he returns? I don't think so. You going to worship the black Messiah, yes or no? You going to worship the black Messiah? Just a yes or no question. That's all. You are? Uh-uh. See that? You say that I'm going to worship him. I'm not going to worship the black man. I'm trying to worship myself and like a I didn't ask you nothing about yourself. I'm supposed to. I didn't I ask you one question. Is you going to worship when that? Are you going to worship a white gun? Let's put it this way. Look. Let me try and reverse this. Let's reverse. If would Christ you? was a white man, we would have to come and worship him. But that ain't what the Bible said. The Bible said he was so dark, it looked like his feet was burnt in the furnace. Anything you burn in the furnace is going to be black. Right. Black. Black. Yeah, I know. Look. I, I, well, I, he said about color. Give me that in Daniel. Right. Give me Daniel where it says his color. Had nothing to do with color. Let's see, do the Bible say anything about color? Daniel was it now. No, listen. This is the book of Daniel. Because you said it don't matter about color and all of that. Let's see. Right. Listen up. Chapter 10. And verse 6. So this is Daniel. He's seen Christ in the vision. Go ahead. I'll start at 5. Then I looked up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen. So it was a certain man that he seen clothed in linen, like we see over there. Go ahead. Whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphaz. Uh -huh, he had fine gold on, like we said right here. Go ahead. His body also was the barrel. So when you look up that word barrel, that means he had on a green garment. All right, go ahead. And his face as the appearance of lightning. When you look at his face right here, don't you see like a glow around his face? That's all it's saying. He had a glow around his face. And they don't neglect his skin color. Go ahead. And his eyes as lamps of fire. He read that. He had red eyes because he drunk wine. Go ahead. And his arms. His arms. And his feet. And his feet. Like in color. What? Like in color. Like in what? Like, like in, in color. color. Like in color. So you got color in the Bible. You were the color man. Go ahead. To polished brass. So he was a colored man. So when that colored man. I'm a white man. That's a color also. So look. He said his color was like burnished brass. Burnished brass means burned in a fire. When you burn it some brass, you burn it in fire. When you burn some brass, and when it burns up, it turns dark. He was the same color as burnt brass. Okay. So when this burnt brass man comes, that's dark, if you gonna make this guy your savior, you are gonna worship this guy. I've Not your savior, but he gonna worship this guy, right? I worship Jesus and I worship Bro, I ask you that. Okay, I'm you. When the black Messiah, because Jesus is a black man. Jesus is a black man. And we just read it two times. It said, well, there's two or three witnesses, this whole matter shall be established. So I just established the whole matter by reading Revelation, I just read Daniel. Both of these prophets that God had to be prophets, prophesied him as a man. He was so dark like burnt brass. So when this burnt brass, black man, because this is a picture of burnt brass right here. When they burn brass, this is what it comes out to be. 
So when that burnt brass, dark skinned man come out the sky, you're gonna worship this guy. You're gonna worship him, right? I already worshiped. Now I said, I asked you one question, him. just yes or no. Yeah, I worshiped. I didn't ask you that. I said, you gonna worship this black man that name is Are you Jesus. Just gonna keep that? No, Give me that scripture again. We gotta read the scripture a hundred times. Give me that scripture. <laughs> I worship whoever believes in God. Hold on. Hold on. Let's let's see let's see what the Bible says. Let's this see what the Bible says. Okay. See so that he well, why so hard just for a person that say they yeah. worship a black man? We worship y'all for four hundred years, you yeah, worship me and all. Right. Man. You know what I said? Read that. Hold on. Listen, back listen, then. listen to the scripture. Read. John yes. seven and thirty eight. Because everybody always said, don't matter, don't matter, the color, don't matter. Let's see what the Messiah said. You said that you, like, you're making me this. Like I'm this is the book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. Let's see what the Messiah said. He that believeth on me. You said you believe in Jesus, right? I believe in a lot. I'm you said, who that believe, believe in Jesus, go ahead. As the scripture has said. As what? As the scripture has said. So the scripture said that he's going to be a man with burnt brass skin. That's what the scripture said. So you got to believe in as the scripture has said. Go ahead. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Right. So you got to believe what the scripture said. The scripture didn't say he was coming down as a white man. It didn't say he had pale skin. It didn't say he had red skin like this. It said he got burnt brass skin. When you burn bread. That's why we got these images up here, because pictures is worth a thousand words. People can't refute when it comes to the picture. The picture right here said burnt bread. This is the color of burnt bread. Close to my close to my skin color. This we agree to Right. But you gotta believe in him as the scripture has written. Because if it wasn't in there, he wouldn't even put it in there. He would just say it don't matter what my color is. Don't even put it in there. But in the Bible, it says he's a man of color like burnt brass. Yeah, it word. said it like that. Like so if it didn't matter, that you, like when you say that, now you're saying the Bible don't matter. It don't matter what the Bible says. Right? All right, sister. We out here every Saturday. Ivan the producer. Do, sir. Do, sir. Do, sir. Thank you.